Okay, so we're going to do some drum buildups. And what I have loaded up here is the same loop we were working with before. Okay, let me just play it. Okay, and I also added uh, this kick build up here. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is we're going to, with Elastic Time, we're going to be building up the kicks. And then we're going to cut the time in half and speed it up, kind of like, you know, snare rolls and, uh, you know, hi-hat rolls. Something similar to that, but it's going to be dance style. And I have my Elastic Audio already turned on. When I brought these in, I brought them in from the workspace, so everything's already turned on. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I just want to go ahead and trim this down. Because I just want one kick. I just want one of those kicks. Let me just mute that for a minute. Okay, that's all I want. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to take that, make sure it's selected. Control D will duplicate the sound. So one, two, three, four. And that, you know what, let me just go ahead and two, three, four. Do it another four times. And then I'm going to select this loop, duplicate that again. And let me tighten this up a little bit. And I'll duplicate it one more time. Boom. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to delete every other kick out of this one. Okay. Boom, 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 okay, and then I'm going to take this kick here, and I can either go Control D, or if you hold down the Alt button, and left click, and hold it, and drag it on over, okay, you can copy it that way too, okay, so now what I'm going to do with this kick is, I want to go ahead and cut the time in half, so I'm going to go up to my region menu, and down to Elastic Properties, and you'll get this little dialog box that pops up. Bring it on over here. And the source length, that's what we're going to be using. And you can either cut it in half, or you could times it by two. So I'm going to cut this kick in half. Okay, just like that. And as you can see, it shrunk down a little bit. And now I'm going to duplicate that a couple times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's just bring it across the whole thing. Okay, so now I'll do the same thing. Delete every other. And then we'll make these a little bit faster. Okay, let's see how that sounds so far. Okay, perfect. And now, one more time, I'm just going to take this, duplicate it, bring it on over. And then with my elastic property still open, I'm going to cut that one in half too, make it even tighter. Just stretch it on out a little bit, and then Control D. A couple times on over here. I'm just gonna bring it across the whole thing. Stretch it back. Patience is the key. You know, a lot of this stuff. You know, when you're working with audio, you know, it could be a little bit tedious at times, but you just gotta be patient with it. Rome wasn't built in a day. Okay, so let me go ahead and play this. Okay, and then we don't need to roll it all across there. Let me just bring it down. Take that out. Okay, let's play this back. You know what I mean? Just, just a basic buildup. I mean, you can do a lot of crazy stuff with that. Okay, that's basically it. That's that's how you do drum buildups, and you can do that with snares, with your hi hats. Uh, just remember, like I said, you can just go to your region menu, make sure your Elastic Audio is selected. Go to your region menu, and you get that little dialog box that pops up, and there's a few other features in there. Okay, another cool feature with that is, you know, let's say you bring a loop in, uh, not using Elastic Audio, and your loop falls short of one bar. Okay, let's say it's you know a, a little bit before one bar. Okay. And the way you can fix that is, you just turn on your Elastic Audio, bring up your Elastic Properties, and then Source Length, you just want to make it one bar. So you left click in there, push number one, enter, done. Now you have it all the way stretched out across. And you can also get the same result using your Time Compression Expansion right here. If you left click and hold for like a second, you'll get this little dialog box that pops up. And you go to TCE. Okay, and stretch that a little bit so we can see better. Just go to the end of the file, left click, and then just drag it on over. Boom. Okay. And that, you know, you can do it that way too. 
Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be working in the warp view. So I'll see you in a minute.